Hello, everyone. Uh, we have already learned to import data from the web in Excel. However, it is applicable almost only to data in a list, uh, like the financial data. In practice, uh, data in a website is usually randomly distributed. Uh, and we often have to gather data from multiple pages. Um, in these situations, manually import data from the web to Excel can be very time consuming. Thus, I want to show you how to make a simple crawler using Python. Um, this crawler mainly focuses on tasks that collect information from a list of web pages with similar structure, which could be applied to review websites, uh, social websites like uh, Twitter and Q&A forums, etc. The basic idea is using requests to repeatedly uh, access pages and uh, parse HTML files to get data. The first question is, how to get data of interest from complex HTML files? We take advantage of two third-party uh, packages. The first one is a request package. It sends requests to the server and re returns requested web pages. Second one is BS4. Uh, it parses the HTML files and filters out information we are interested in. We choose uh, the famous movie review website, Douban, as our target, which is known as the IMDB in China. For each film, the website provides the following features, uh, like uh, the name of, of the film, the readings, uh, the director of the film, uh, the actors, and uh, the category it belongs to, the release date, and so on. Take the Shawshank Redemption as an example in order to collect the information from this, this web page. First of all, we need to gain access to this web page. The request package completes this task in a very simple way. Uh, we just provided it with a URL and uh, it, then it returns a response object, here denoted as R. We can access information of a page via its attributes, such as status code telling us about the status of the page, uh, with 200 for accessed successfully and 404 for final found, uh, and the uh, text which gives us the HTML file, as we can see here. Uh, in the program, the HTML file was passed to the uh, beautiful soup function of the BS4 package, uh, where we start we begin our investigation in the HTML file. From the web page, it is clear that the features are not uh, in a single list, so we want to know where they are. Uh, in general, the HTML file consists of uh, consists of text and contents. Mm. With text specifying the format and uh, the function of a module, we can find exactly which content is connected to which tag using the Firefox uh, developer's tool. The name of the film is located inside a span tag, uh, as we can see here. Since span tag was frequently used in HTML, uh, there may be many span tags in the file. The attribute property help us uh, find the specific tag correctly, as its value is unique. Uh, the BS4 package follows the same rule. Using the find function, uh, the first parameter states what kind of tags we want to find, namely the span. Uh, the second parameter identifies a unique tag of interest. Uh, then the function extracts uh, the value of this uh, of this tag. Other features of this film, like uh, ratings, number of votes, uh, can be found using the same rule, with small uh, modifications on names of the tags or attributes. Next, uh, here we uh, will run this program to see we have successfully uh, get the re uh, result we want. As you can see, the name of the film, the readings, uh, number of votes, all listed here. And so we have completed uh, 
our task on a single page. Next, to get information about more films, we need to decide which page to visit next. In this task, uh, our interest lies in finding films similar to the first film. So every time uh, when we visit a page, we record eight related films on the, that page and repeatedly visit each stored page. One problem arose during the actual implementation of the crawler is duplication. Because one film may be related to many films, which means it may appear twice or more in the records. Thus, we need to test whether this film has already been visited before, uh, added to the records. Uh, and uh, to store the uh, uh, to store the data into the Excel file, we used the Excel WT uh, package uh, to create a workbook which represents uh, an Excel file and added a blank sheet to this file. For every film, we see it as a tuple uh, consists of multiple features uh, and they use the right method of the sheet object to add one row to the table. The results uh, is shown here. You can see the first is the ID, the name of the film, the ratings, a number of ratings, and so on. So with a simple crawler, uh, we have successfully connected uh, this useful information uh, from the website. Thank you very much.